This is the 13th video presentation for the Case Natural Resource and Ecology course. As you view this video, be sure to make notes of important information. Feel free to pause, repeat, and resume the video whenever necessary. Lumber Calculations, Lesson 7.2, Timber. You consider how much a tree is worth when you completed Activity 721, The Value of a Tree. The calculator interpreted the value in economical terms. But what about the physical value of the timber in the tree? Hubert Humphrey said, The days have ended when the forest may be viewed only as trees and the trees viewed only as timber. The soil and the water, the grasses and the shrubs, the fish and the wildlife, and the beauty of the forest must become an integral parts of the resource manager's thinking and actions. Forests provide many products of value for humans. Organizations such as the U.S. Forest Legacy Program and the National Conservatory aid in over 30 efforts to protect and sustain forests. Some people say the value of a tree is priceless because the tree brings beauty and other benefits. USDA Forest Service scientists estimate that for every $1 spent on planting and caring for a tree, the benefits that it'll provide are two to five times that value. Trees provide benefits including cleaner air, lower energy costs, increased property values, and improved water quality and storm water control. But there are more utilitarian values for trees as well. The timber industry provides lumber, pulpwood, and other fibers used in everyday life. Estimating the value of a forest requires an inventory by species and dimension. Foresters that manage areas for lumber production often conduct volume cruises through a forest. At each sample point of a volume cruise, the forester makes two measurements per tree. The unit of measurement used is board feet. One board foot is equal to 12 inches wide, 12 inches long, and 1 inch thick, or 144 cubic inches. Because not all trees and boards are 12 inches wide and 1 inch thick, a volume table is used. The known diameter and log height of a tree intersect to reveal the volume of wood contained in the tree of different diameters and log lengths. The use of board feet is used to determine the tree measurement for landowners who want to know the value of their timber. To calculate board feet by a 2 by 4 board, 8 feet in length, you would complete the calculations as shown. Convert feet to inches by multiplying 8 by 12. Calculate the cubic inches by multiplying 96, 2, and 4, then divide by 144. You can complete the calculations without converting to inches. If you use cubic feet instead of cubic inches, multiplying 8, 2, and 4, then divide by 12. Either way, the answer is 5.3 board feet. Use this method to calculate the number of board feet in lumber of any size after the lumber has been sawed at the mill. Calculating board feet from standing trees is actually a form of estimation because of the unknown. Three tools are acquired, a diameter tape, a Biltmore stick, and a Doyle scale. A diameter tape is a type of dendrometer made of cloth or metal. It is used to measure the diameter at breast height, called DBH. DBH is measured at fixed height of 4.5 feet or 1.4 meters above the ground. Diameter is easily measured because the tape is calibrated in units of pi, or 3.14 inches or centimeters. The tape actually measures the tree's circumference, but since the circumference of the diameter are related to pi, the diameter can be easily converted from the circumference. The only problem with the diameter tape is that it assumes the tree trunk's cross-section are perfectly circular. Therefore, the diameter tape just gives an approximation. The Biltmore stick requires the user to stand at a specified distance from the tree in order to triangulate the estimated merchantable height in increments of 16 feet. Different than the total height, merchantable implies the ability to cut lumber, veneer, or other products from the logs contained in a tree. There are numerous factors that 
make a log unusable for lumber or veneer, such as too small a diameter, under 10 inches inside the bark, and defects or insect damage. Merchantable height is controlled by a diameter limit in the upper part of the tree or by some defect occurring on the trunk, such as a fork in the trunk or smaller limbs, which renders the wood above unsuitable. The Biltmore stick has been calibrated so that if you stand 66 feet from the tree being measured and hold the stick 25 inches from your eye in a vertical position, you can read the number of merchantable logs from the stick using the merit hypsometer side of the stick. The line of sight crosses the stick at the number on the merit hypsometer scale, indicating the quantity of 16-foot logs that may be cut from the tree. If necessary, for a very tall tree, walk an additional 33 feet away from the tree. It is important not to move the stick when taking a measurement. You will also need to tilt your head back slightly so that you do not have to move your head when reading from stump point to the cutoff height. The Doyle scale estimates the lumber yield from a log. For smaller logs, the scale underestimates the actual volume. Smaller logs cost more to handle, so rather than subtract from the actual footage and possibly make the logger upset or pay less for smaller logs, the Doyle scale automatically covers for extra handling cost. To use the scale, first measure the average diameter of the small end of the log inside the bark in inches. Locate that row on the scale. Next, measure the length of the log in feet. Move over on the scale to that length column, where two measurements intersect. The result is the board footage of that log. The process must be repeated for each log. Deductions are made for defects such as rot and curved logs. As a review, mark or highlight three items in your notes that are important to remember from this presentation. List two ideas or concepts that relate to previous knowledge. List any questions you have about this topic. Discuss these questions with your instructor. Keep any notes you have from this presentation organized and available for use throughout the class. Through Activity 722, Calculating Board Feet, you will calculate board feet of lumber and estimate the value of local trees in order to understand the effective forest management tools. If necessary, your teacher will demonstrate the tools you will use as well as additional instructions for estimating the value of six trees.